Paul and this is my husband Jason the Great Galar. <laughs> A few moments later. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. Now, Jason's um, ex work colleague and still lovely friend Lynn mm -hmm. went to it. Second time she's done this. Second time. Second time she went to Australia and brought back a load of Gert things for us to try. So we're going to show you the Gert things, the wonderful vegan gifts from Australia. Um, yeah. So we thought we'd just share it with you, basically. So we've got... The light's terrible, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. Persian I'll... feta. And what I'll do afterwards is I will just film all of the individual products uh, and cut them in so you can have a right good look at uh, each individual thing. But this is amazing. Persian style macadamia feta, absolutely amazing stuff. You, some of you eagle-eyed people may have spotted it appeared in our Buddha bowl. Yes. Recently. Mm -hmm. um, so we have already tasted this. It's fair, we have to be honest, it's fair to say, I adore it, it's gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, how do you want to do this? Um, well, it is, I would like to try one of these. Mm -hmm. Activated charcoal. Ooh, interesting. Um, lovely little crackers, no gluten. No, nothing. Wheat free, dairy free, GMO free, egg free, low sugar, vegan. Mmm. Yeah. I want to try one of these with that cheese. Okay. And then the ducker. So hold the two jars of ducker up, Jason. Okay. So this is the first one. Ducker Zatar. Right. Polly, you truly are ridiculous. I'm going to take control of this and I'll do what I said before. So yeah, we've got the Ducker Zatar and of course the Chili Ducker Zatar. Maybe if I just hold it back here like this. Yeah, we had the um, uh, uh, Ducker Zatar Zata. on top of our hummus and our butter bowl and that, along with some of the cheese. We were just like, let's get some of this stuff off. Mm. It's very warm in here today. You're always warm, you. True. So there's a bunch of charcoal biscuits. Well, it's like we're having a little picnic in the kitchen. Uh, open this. Yeah. To just get like one piece out or to do it like that, yeah. 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 Give me some. On there. Ooh, careful. Sorry. That's probably too much, that can screw Well, I'll do this, I'll make a sandwich. Okay. Ah, nice. Show the people. Little sandwich, little sandwich. Little sandwich, little sandwich. Go in the memo. <laughs> I think we could have half of that each. I'm, I'm trying. To... Oh. Just bite it and then I'll have the other bit. Oh, they're very crispy. Mm. That. Mm. That Persian feta is out of this world, isn't it? I messaged Lynn and said, it's not at all like feta to my memory. We have said this, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Mm. Now, apparently, I'm going to try one of them on So the salty, so Moorish. Umami. It's umami. In the same way as Marmite um, is umami, but different, because I love this, and I'm not really that keen on Marmite. Interesting fact for you there. On their own? Mm hmm Well, why don't you try the one that's got oil dipped on it? Mmm. They're actually quite flavorful, aren't they? Surprisingly nice. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is a lovely little um, picnic in the kitchen. These are vegan gifts from Australia. We haven't gone online and searched to see if you can get them anywhere else, but you know what? That's something that you can do. Yes, as we show you the products you see, you might just have a look. 
I shouldn't imagine you can get that in this country, the, no. the feta. To be honest, I did have a look oh, at a few. We have Australian people watching. Of course, yeah. We might be introducing some of them. So apparently, the way to eat ducker is to dip some bread in extra virgin olive oil and then dip it in the ducker. Nice. So I've put two, I've put a bit of each one, chilli one, the non-chilli one. Nice. We've already had the non-chilli one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dip my bread, dip in my ducker, ducker. Dip in my ducker, dip in my ducker. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. So which did you dip into then, the, the, uh, the, the plain one? The one we've already had. Mmm. Let me just try without oil. Oh, I could do that too, easily. Mmm. Lovely. Really nice. Before I dip into the other one, should we just touch briefly on the, um, oh. this stuff? Ooh, filthy. I'm going to be so gutted when this um, Persian style you macadamia feta is that. gone. I poured some of the oil from this little beauty into the oil. Just to give it a bit more flavour. Mm. Right, I'm going to try the chilli one. Well, the only problem with ducker. Bits in your teeth. Bits in your teeth. Bits in your teeth. Mmm. This is the chilli one, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That one, on top of hummus. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I mean, Louise. You know when you get, like, really fancy hummus, and it's usually got a little bit of a drizzle of something over the top? And then it's got a few little chickpeas thrown in the middle and a bit of a, dra bit of a garnish. Well, you could do that with my oil-free hummus. Link up there, easily. You could put the tiniest dribble of olive oil on top, the tiniest dribble, a bit of ducker, a couple of chickpeas, artisan. Mm. It's artisan, that. Gorgeous, it takes what is already great bread, because we only ever get great bread, to be fair, 99% of the time. It takes great bread and elevates it to a whole other level. Absolutely delicious. What are you doing now? What I'm doing now is I'm getting a bit of this... Sure, people. Cheese. There we go. A bit of this cheese. We've got a bit of a closer angle. For this video. Bit of this cheese. Oh, I see. I don't know, putting it inside in the ducker. Stuff in those faces. <laughs> I'm going to try that. Oh, don't have it, it's horrible. Don't have hey, it. Hey, hey now. I'm, all, I'm being very frugal with this stuff, because once it's gone, it's gone. I'll be devoured, seriously. <laughs> I will, actually. Unless, like you say, you might be able to get it shipped over from Australia. I don't know. I would pay to have that shipped if you can only get it in Australia. Mmm. The stuffing out, we thought we would combine a reveal of new product, a taste test, and lunch. <laughs> All in one. Mmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Just that. Now. Now. You keep testing her. Now are we? Yes. Okay. Sometimes you have to have a stern word. Why are you doing this? Why? I'm showing. I'm. I'm trying to learn her. It's not going to, because she's focusing on your face. I hid my face. I've hid it. Polly always looking at me. 
No, she loves you. She loves you and she wants to focus on you. Really? There we go, see. So, Polly, don't worry about it. It's all good. So, the takeaway really from all of this, um, because you're probably thinking, well, that's all well and good. Australian people watching, you might have um, discovered new things. People in other parts of the world, when we get back to some sense of normality, you've got friends and family uh, that might be venturing on holiday. To Australia. Or anywhere in the world. Tip, ask them to pick something up for you that's vegan. Because you never know, you might come across something totally unique that you've never heard of before, never seen before. Um, and it'd be a lovely little treat. So there you go. This is that's hemp the takeaway. parmesan. Hemp parmesan. I don't think I'll be having that much. I want more. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that is delicious. That packs a real punch, doesn't it? It's delicious. Mm. That on top of pasta. Yeah. I'm sure you can get that in this country. Pimp my salad. Hemp parmesan, vegan. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I can find any of these products on Amazon in the UK store, I'll add them down there as Amazon links. Mm. Because it all helps. It says made in Australia from imported ingredients. So, who knows? We shall find out. Mm. So, yeah. There you go. Nice, simple one. Hope you've enjoyed it. If Everything's you... delicious. Thank you for joining us for lunch. <laughs> Have you seen some nice pictures behind us while we've been eating this? Of Australia. Crocodile Dundee and things. I wish you wouldn't do this. Why? Because what if we don't end up putting Australia behind us? What if we don't end up putting Crocodile Dundee behind Why us? Why wouldn't we look at us? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We will. Thanks for joining us. Full mouth, sorry. Love you, mister. Mwah. Love you. Love you guys. See you again very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves. Excuse me. And each other. <laughs> Bye, loves. Bye. Mmm, I'm having a one of these. Don't get in my space. Don't cross wave. Don't get in my space.